Hey guys, this video is about EIGRP uh, protocol. Yes, it's Cisco protocol. Let's go on and configure it. And uh, we're going to be configuring it on a Cisco packet tracer. In this topology, as you see it, we have um, uh, these network. Let me go on and label them. I'll pause the video, label them correctly, so that way we know exactly. Okay, as we see in this topology, we have PC5, which has IP address of 10.21.21.11, and we have PC4, 10.21.21.34. Even though they are there, but remember, these are on different subnet. So we can say 27 here, and slash 27 there. Okay? Anyways, right now, if I go right here, I will not be able to ping anything on this in this world. So let's go on to the command line and say ping 10 21 22 9 look in there we cannot um, ping it so forget about that let's go and try uh, the 10 network of course we cannot do it so forget about it i'm gonna go on and uh, i'm gonna go on and do a continuous ping while i'm configuring stuff so Right now we are sitting on this computer on this computer. We cannot ping anything in this world So what we need to do is we need to configure EIGRP So if you configure EIGRP that should definitely help us um, get uh, routes and All of these network will be advertised etc. Etc. So let's go ahead and configure it There we go start from beginning enable config T router E I G R P 200. I'm gonna call it 200. We could choose any number from one to all those number. Let's choose 200. And uh, I'm gonna advertise right now. I'm on router one. I'm gonna say, you know what? Let's go and advertise network 10 21 21. Let's go and say everything 10 21 network. I'm going to go on instead of wildcard, I'm going to type in this, it will automatically generate it as per, as per uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. So there we go. I'm telling it that I know this router, router 1, knows about this network. And I'm going to tell it that it knows about uh, 172 network as well. So I'm going to say 172.16.10 that zero two five five two five five two five five dot zero there we go so now i'm telling this router everybody that i know about this this route and i know about this this network so let's go on and say no auto summary because we don't want it to say you know what this is me nobody else knows about these networks so i, I should have assigned right there i should have say you know what host name let me just uh, router one i should have used the wildcard mask not a big deal let's leave it for now let's test this method it should do the trick if not then we're gonna go on and do more i'm gonna go to core one switch core one switch let's say enable conf t we're gonna go on and say router eigrp 200 that's it I'm going to tell this core one is going to say I know about this network and I know about this network and that should help us so 10 21 22 that's zero you could use the wildcard mask of let's see if this will do the trick what is that uh, 255 let's see there we go I use the wildcard ma mask and saying I know about this network. This is this, so that looks good. So now what else we need to do is we need to also tell um, everybody that I know about 172, um, 1610 as well. So let's go on and say network 172, 16, that 10, that 0. You could say it could say 255.255.255.0. I could have used uh, wildcard mask, but not a big deal. So this is just a test, but it could have gone and say 0.0.0.255. But anyways, this looks good. Look in there. Right there, we got uh, adjacency established with the neighbor, with the neighbor, which is this is our neighbor. 
We are sitting on core one, and this is our neighbor. We got adjacency. Let's go to PC5. Look, we got connectivity. So it is good to go. Let's close this. Let's go on and ping from this PC. And uh, I will ping from here. Okay, I'm going to go on, and uh, right now I'm sitting on PC2. From PC2, I'm going to go on and ping this network. So go on and say ping 10, 21, 21, 34. It should work. If not, then we will take a look and see what's happening. I see what's happening. If you take a look in here, this PC goes here, and this doesn't have any route. So what really need to be done is we're going to go on and configure it on this guy as well, on this on this uh, core core 2 enable conf t router eigrp 200 bang network 10 21 22 that's 0 0 0 0 that 255 there we go this is good to go now let's go on and say mm, We are good, actually. Uh, enter. Let's go to this PC now. See what's happening. There we go. So the problem was we were uh, sitting on uh, we were sitting on PC two, and this core two was not core two was not configured. Core two was not configured for EIGRP. So now we are good. So forget about that one. Let's go to PC3 and try to ping uh, 10.21.21.11. So we are sitting on PC3. I'm going to say ping 10.21.21.11. There we go. So due to, uh, due to ERGRP great magic, now we are able to ping each other. So ERGRP, as you see it, it says it already discovered a new uh, adjacency. So that's good. So let's say IP show IP route. Look in there, right there. We are sitting on uh, core one and uh, look at our uh, look at the summary. Yep, leave that alone for now. But look in their neighbor. Look at last resort in here. We're going to talk about last resort in this uh, next video. But all of these are through uh, through yeah, GRP. We are able to great connectivity thank you for watching this video i hope you like it and uh, see you in the next video